That was excellent, James. I'm very pleased with tonight. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself, Mrs. Weldon. Oh, so am I. I hate being disappointed, particularly when I've been looking forward to something all week. That is so annoying. Well, I can understand why it would be. I do my best to avoid situations like that. <gasps> that you do. There's no denying that. You do your utmost, one might even say. Thank you. You're too kind. No, I'm not, actually. Your envelope is on the Davenport in the vestibule. Shall we meet again on the 14th? Francis will be in Hong Kong. Certainly. At the usual time? Yes. That would be amenable. I'll see you on the 14th, then. <sighs> Good night, James. Can I get you? Glenn Livet Neat. Are you kidding me? Look around you. I think this is the kind of joint that stocks Glenn Livet. I guess uh, Bonewire Black would be out of the question. Highland Park? Hardbeg? Okay, what's your best scotch? How about um, Old Honest Chuck? Old Honest Chuck? Yep, old honest Chuck. That's your best scotch? It's our only scotch. Okay, let's make it a double. I feel like living dangerously tonight. It's your liver. That'll be 640. And worth every penny. I <laughs> can't believe you actually drank that. You're not as soft as you look. Oh yeah? Watch this. <laughs> I'll have another. <laughs> Can you pass me the clicker? What? The remote for the TV. I can't watch any more of that. That's what I hate about Halloween. All these stupid old horror movies come crawling out from the rocks they're hiding under. I don't know, I kinda like it. What if I told you I'm allergic to zombies? Fine, you win, handsome. Thanks. Now that's much better. You say so. Can I ask you another question? It's about the name of this place. How do you pronounce it? I don't know, I just started working here last week. Ookies? Oogies. I doubt it. But a serious drinker come to a joint called Oogies? And certainly not these fine folks. Well, you're probably right. What would you call it, smart guy? Well, originally it was two words. During Prohibition, this was a speakeasy without a sign. The two words were a secret code for uh, patrons so that they could identify the place without getting busted. I think that's true. Sounds kind of far-fetched to me. Sure. The two words were, oh, geez. So one guy might say, oh, geez, I'm really thirsty. The other guy would know exactly what and where he meant. That'd be kind of cool. It's true. Would I lie to you? Matter of fact, I'm exactly like the kind of guy who would. Are you flirting with me? You know, even today, I bet some of the regulars still use the code name for this place. You really think so? Sure. For example, oh geez, I can't believe I'm in this dump again. It's pretty funny, you know that? 
Well, I do my utmost. What about you? How do you say the name of this place? Fuck you. No bugging the other customers. I know how to say it, buddy. It's OJ's. Like the band that sings Love Train. OJ's Tavern, I like the sound of that. <laughs> it damn straight. What about you? Um, pardon? You talk too much, pretty boy. Hey, no trouble now, just take it easy. Hey, why do you leave him alone, cue ball? We're just having some fun. What the fuck did you just call me? Cue ball. I called you a cue ball. Hey, I apologize, good sir. I shouldn't have called you a cue ball. You're obviously not a cue ball. More like a cue ball with a bad mustache. <laughs> That's it. You're done, asshole. You got me shaking, baby. You got me on my knees. Here for the taking, baby. Oh, Hands up, bitch. Don't even think about trying anything stupid. Get over there. The rest of you, too. Get over there with them, meat. Or what? You gonna shoot me? I don't think so. I'm not going to ask you again. That thing's a fucking joke. And you, get in my way and I'll make you eat those fucking Halloween masks. You shouldn't have come trick-or-treating to here today, asshole. Take it. It's yours. There's three MasterCards and two Visas in it. They're still clean. I could open the safe. I don't know how much is in it, but... You can keep your money. We want you. She's eating for two again. <laughs> really necessary. Don't be such a diva. I don't think you should have any of that second guy. Definitely not a prime cut. It's not good for the baby. Okay then, how about this one? I've had it up to here with all these pukers. No, please not me, I have a dog. <laughs> Shut up, meat. Oh, what do we have here? A hero? Oh, isn't that adorable? He wants to be the big hero who rescues the damsels in distress. How sweet. I hope he tastes the same. Only one way to find out. Save me a bite, will ya? I'm feeling a bit peckish. Of course. Thanks, darling. Hey, Rover. Bite me. You think you're something special? You're nothing but a walking, talking Big Mac. Wait. You gonna beg for your life, pretty little dinner? I know how to touch you. <sighs> Clever little dinner. Can't you feel my heart beginning to race? Oh jeez. Don't stop.
surprised to see me. What the fuck? By the way, she isn't coming back. Boy, I sure could use a drink. Of course, he's not dead yet. Why would it be that easy? Can't you smell her on me? No. Marsha would never. I think I love you. I'm sorry it took me so long. I didn't have a chance to use this until you distracted them. Is that what I was doing? Distracting them? I mean, I know you were doing your best to fight them. You know what? Don't worry about it. We're gonna get out of this hole with our lives, and that makes this my favorite Halloween ever. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! <laughs> you saved our lives! Uh, you're welcome, uh... Sam. It's nice to meet you, Sam. I'm James. No offense, but I'm never coming back here again. Neither am I. I never wanted to take this stupid job, but I need the paycheck. Don't we all? Why did you run behind the bar? Why didn't you go for the exit? Not the smartest move, was it? I thought I saw you reach for something back there when the big guy was beating up on the drunk guy. My cell phone. Yeah, that was not a good moment. One thing I, I don't understand, though. Yeah? I, I thought... Those, those things could only be killed with the silver bullets or something. Well, evidently massive brain damage also does the trick. What the hell? Why'd you do that? I was just a little kid! No! It was an abomination. Don't you see? I had to do it. I had no choice it was going to become one of them. I guess monsters come in all shapes and sizes, don't they? What? What are you talking about? I'm out of here. What do you mean? What monsters? Are there more of those things out there? Your mascara's running. Oh, jeez.